Hey everyone. Um, so uh, I know I'm wearing like a ear muffy thing, but I'm just actually about to go out, and I just thought I'd film really quickly before I go. Um, and it's actually snowing outside, so that's why I'm all like wrapped up nice and warm. Um, so yeah, uh, I made a video the other day, um, so that you could ask me some questions, and that I'll make a video answering the questions. So I've had like about, I think about forty maybe a little more than 40 so hopefully I get it all done in one video um, but if not I'll have to do it in part 1 and part 2 um, so yeah I'll just get on to the questions so the first question is um, what's one or more makeup item or items uh, you are dying to add to your collection um, I have like a few that I'd love um, I definitely love to expand my MAC collection but um, so I'll not even bother naming all that because I think I want like everything but the things I'm actually really looking forward to getting, um, I'll probably get them for Christmas or whatever, um, is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows number 3, or volume 3, um, and then the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and maybe the limited, uh, limited edition MAC um, Nicki Minaj lipstick that's recently been out, or is recently coming out. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely like to try them. Um, what age did you start wearing makeup and what age did you shave? Um, I actually started wearing makeup when I was kind of, I think I was about 15, um, but that was like only concealer and probably a little bit of lip, lip gloss and eyeshadow. Um, but for ages I just wore lip gloss and concealer, so I'd say I probably started wearing a full face of makeup when I was about 16 or 17, 16 maybe. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't wear it every day, just like on special occasions and stuff. And then I started shaving my legs, I think I was about 13, I was in first year in school, so I think I was about 13, so yeah. Um, what's your favourite eye primer? Um, definitely the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I've got the original one and the one in Sin. Um, I actually like the thin one better because I like it, it leaves a nice sheen to your eye and you can use it as a highlight for your brow bone as well, it's really pretty. Um, do you want to make up a beauty related career or have you something else in mind? Um, I don't really know to be honest. Um, like I, I just make videos and stuff and do makeup because it's a hobby, like it's something that I enjoy, I enjoy doing. But I never really thought of it as a career. Um, i done like a daily course just like a beginner's kind of daily course um, uh, of like beauty and makeup or whatever um, and I actually liked it but I don't know if I'd actually study it but I don't know maybe in the future I will um, what, sorry if I'm looking down my computer's there what main advice or suggestion would you give for girls in Ireland um, about makeup okay this has to be like the worst thing I've seen, like in young girls especially, is like they cake on the makeup so much. Even if they're just going to school or to the shops or something, they have like plaster on their face, which there's no need to at all. Like they're really young, they're like about 14, 15, 16, and they shouldn't be wearing foundation because their skin wouldn't be that bad. They probably just need concealer if they have blemishes. But I just see girls with like caked on makeup, blush, bronzer, black smoky eyes, loads of mascara. Um, but I just think it's a bit much when you're young, like just let your natural skin show through um, and don't start wearing it until you're a bit older maybe. Um, what are some big no-nos for people with green eyes? Um, I, I don't really think that like specific people with coloured eyes should wear specific colours like blue eyed people should wear like navies and blues. I don't think that. Um, I think like any any eye colour can wear any shadow. Um, just depends on your taste really. Cause I know me, I've got blue eyes and I'd wear whatever colour I want really. Um, so yeah, I don't really think there's any no nos. Um, can you use foundation or something else for eye primer, or does it strictly have to be an eyeshadow primer? Um, no, you can use um a cream, any cream shadow um which acts as a base and you can also use like a concealer um, it just makes it like basically it's like a base for 
eyeshadow to adhere to and makes it more vibrant if there's like a layer underneath I suppose um what lipstick are you wearing okay that was in my last video um I was wearing my Rimmel lipstick in pink blush uh, which is 006 I think and then now I'm wearing my gosh um darling lipstick which is new color lipstick and I'm wearing my Barry M taffy lip gloss over um what color eyeshadow do you use every day um I kind of tend to use my naked lunch all over my lid and then my um what's it called my naked lunch all over the lid my um Urban Decay YDK in the crease and twice based on the outer cor outer V or outer half and then half based in the inner corner um, and then I kind of tend to use my um number seven uh, innocence eyeshadow as a highlight kind of that's kind of my basic everyday neutral eye I suppose um so yeah do you think wearing um different color besides black or brown mascara is okay um personally I don't own any coloured mascaras because I don't know I just don't think I would wear it um, but if it works for you then yeah definitely wear it like why not I think like especially if you're young I think you should wear the most crazy makeup that you can wear and um, just be daring and like creative with your makeup because when you're older like if you're like in your 40s or 50s you can't really get away with um Oops. You can't really get away with bright coloured eyeshadows and all that. So yeah, definitely like be creative when you're young and experiment with your makeup. Um, what else? Why do I keep going? So nine. I'm sorry. Um, what? What's your favourite Mac lipstick? Um, probably have to be my Viva Glam Gaga. Um, which is like a really pretty bubblegum pink with blue undertones. Um, I really like it. Um, or probably Angel by Mac. I like pinky lipsticks. Um, what's your favorite store for makeup? Uh, I'd say Brown Thomas because they have like Mac and and uh, Nars, Lancome. They have like everything there, but it's all kind of higher end makeup. But yeah, I'd probably pick Brown Thomas. Um, what's your favorite Mac product? Um. Definitely between two, uh, my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and my Studio Fix Powder. Both of them are amazing. Um, my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural I wear like every day to set my foundation on a regular day, and then my Studio Fix Powder I wear on a night out because it's much more um, full coverage and it, it leaves your skin like really flawless and stuff. I'm sorry if you can hear my like <laughs> bracelet dangling. It's really annoying. Um. So, what's your worst makeup brand? I think, well, with my experience, I would probably say Bourjois. Um, because anything I got from them, like their eyeshadows and their concealer, and I got a mascara for them. I tried a few of their products. Uh, I didn't really like them. So, And they're quite expensive as well for a drugstore makeup brand. So, yeah, I'd probably say Bourjois. Um, best makeup brand, I'm going to say MAC. And I'm sure everybody probably says that. But yeah, I think Mac is probably my favorite, or Urban Decay. Um, I think like Urban Decay, I only really buy their eyeshadows, whereas Mac, I'd buy like the foundations and powders and shadows and blush and all that lipsticks. Um, so probably Mac as an all-round best makeup brand. Um, what is the best thing about being a beauty guru? Um, definitely meeting like all my lovely subscribers, and I've actually become like good friends with a lot of my subscribers like I tweet them a lot and we talk a lot and stuff um, and it just I think just nice comments and good feedback on your videos makes you feel really good and really special so um, I just like the way it makes me feel I suppose and um, it's confidence boost as well um, so yeah I love being a beauty girl and um, so that was kind of the makeup question um, so now more general questions okay the next question I get asked so many times like so so many times Um, are you from Dublin or near do you live near Dublin okay I am from Dublin I moved from Dublin when I was 
God, I can't remember what age it was. But anyway, I moved from Dublin 11 years ago. So, um, that was a long time ago. So I still have like my family up there, my cousins and aunties and my granny and granddad and stuff. Um, so I do be up in Dublin quite a lot visiting family and probably shopping but I don't live in Dublin or I don't live near to Dublin and um, I live about two hours away from Dublin and um, in the country and um, and it's really like quiet and there's no shops around or yeah it's kind of boring sometimes but so yeah if a lot of people said like oh you say that you'd be in a Blanchetown shopping centre or in the city but yeah if I was going shopping I'd probably go there if I was going like to do like a big shop like makeup or clothes or whatever I'd go to Dublin um, because where I live, um, there's not big shops like that. Um, there's only like the Duns and Tesco's and chemists and all that stuff. Um, so, what do you want to be when you're older or what's your job now? Um, I'm actually a qualified dental nurse. You probably don't know that. But um, yeah, I actually, I'm not working at the minute, but I think I have like work around the Christmas still. Um, with a dentist so yeah fingers crossed I get it and um, what have you always wanted to be since when you were young okay does that make sense yeah Um, when I was young I like me and my sister used to play like teacher all the time two of us wanted always wanted to be the teacher and um, when we were younger like if you asked us what we wanted to be when we grow up we'd be a teacher I just think that's because we got to draw on the the, the chalkboard Um and um, yeah and I loved like correcting homework correcting stuff and um, so yeah teacher maybe Um, what made you start making videos Um, I, I was watching like uh, I think the first person ever I watched was Juicy Star 07 and then All The Glitters 21 and then Megan Hart's makeup and I like I watched videos for about a year I'd say and I used to watch them every day, every day, like every day I'd log on to my computer and I'd watch their news videos or, or I'd be waiting for a new video to go up um, because I really liked it and I really took an interest in beauty and makeup and all that. Um, so it was actually one of my friends, she said that um, I should start making videos. So anyway, one day I was just at home and I was going to do like a crazy makeup look. I was just kind of like experimenting with makeup and I just recorded it. and. I just recorded it just to see what I look like doing it and stuff and then I was like oh I'll put it up on YouTube anyway and then I got like a good response and stuff so then I just kept making them and making them and then yeah here I am so um would you, I actually get this question a lot as well um would you ever do a meet up for your Irish subscribers um I'd love to do a meet up like one day um for uh, I don't know, I'd be kind of like embarrassed if nobody turned up or, um, I don't know, I would love to do one though, maybe in the future I will. Um, how long have you had braces for? Um, God, it's been so long, I think nearly three years maybe, two and a half, nearly three years, um, but I'm due to get them off before Christmas, so hopefully I get them off before Christmas anyway. Um, what's your favourite clothing store? Um, higher end I pick Topshop like if I had like loads of money it'd be Topshop or River Island and then if I only had like a little bit of money and I needed an outfit I'd pick Pennies or Primark because it's amazing and they sell everything really good quality and they have like all the latest fashion so I love Pennies um, what's your favourite colour I would say maybe blue like to blue to wear but I love pink pink things like I love pink bed covers and pink accessories and all that but I wouldn't I don't really wear pink because I just think I'd look like a Barbie if I wore pink but so yeah pink for everything else but clothing does that make sense? Um, who's your favourite celebrity? Um, I love Taylor Swift um, and I just think she's a really good role model and um, she hasn't let fame go to her head and she you don't see her like she, I know she's like 20 now and you don't see her like coming out of clubs like really drunk or you know kind of she doesn't have any drama surrounding her really Um, so and she's really talented and I'm going to see her in March with my sister and um, so I can't wait Um, 
<laughs> okay, one of my subscribers. That's so so sweet, and you probably know who who you are if if you're watching, which you probably will be because I you comment on all my videos. But um, <laughs> her two questions are so cute. I just thought I added them in, but uh, one of them was how are you so gorgeous, and then the other one was why are you so lovely. And um, she's so cute. Um, but um. Yeah, I don't know. I got it from my mum, I suppose. Um, team Edward or Team Jacob? Okay. For the books, I was Team Edward. But for the films, I'm Team Jacob. Because I feel really sorry for him. Bella just, like, pushes him around and messes with him. So it's kind of mean. So I feel sorry for Jake. So i probably say Jacob. Have you ever met any celebrity in the flesh? No. So sad. I wish. I don't think I did, anyway. Um, what's your favourite food and favourite drink at the moment? Food would probably be, um, I've been eating, like when I go out for dinner and stuff, I've been eating chicken pascal a lot, which is like um, a breast of chicken, like wrapped in bacon, and then it's in like a wild mushroom sauce and stuff, and like garlic potatoes, and it's so amazing, it's gorgeous. So probably that at the minute, and then my drink would probably be, probably like, Coke or water maybe. Oh no, water with ice and a slice of lemon. I love that. Um, how do you keep your? Okay, okay. So this is probably the most requested um question out of them all. It's how do you keep your side bangs or fringe out of your face? And basically, I don't know. My fringe is kind of like grown out, so it's kind of long. Um, it used to be like nice and side swept and stuff, but then I let it grow out. So basically I just kind of like tease it a small bit and then just basically clip it, I don't know. It's, it's probably just the way my hair is shaped that it just goes nicely to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I actually might do um, a hair routine video if you want, so let me know if you want a hair routine video. Um, who are your favourite beauty gurus? Okay. My number one favourite will probably be... Megan Hart's makeup, then Juicy Star 07, All the Glitters 21, um, That's So CCO, 11 Gorgeous, K.E. Elizabeth 21, Beauty Budget 88, Smokey Pink Leopard, Miss Glamorazzi, um, who else? Dazzle Dust 25, um, I have so many people that I watch and it's not even right. What's your YouTube pet peeve that you have? Definitely going, I kind of smack my lips or something together and then I always go, um, so, so yeah, um, it's so annoying. I want to watch back my videos I'm like, oh, stop doing that, but I can't help, I suppose it's just me. Um, what is the number one thing you want for Christmas? Um, it would probably be a white blackberry. Um, so hopefully I get it. There's a few things I want, but that will probably be the top of my list. Um, do you believe honesty is the best policy? Um, I think it depends on the situation really. Um, I think like sometimes a little white lie is okay if it's for the good of the other person. Um, so yeah, it definitely depends on the situation I suppose. Um, which is better if you were at a party, being overdressed or underdressed? I probably think overdress is better than being underdressed because there's nothing worse than feeling um, not great about yourself. I suppose if you're overdressed, you'll feel like like really pretty and like like you made an effort. But underdressed, then people will probably be like, "God, she could have made an effort." Like, so I'd probably be pick overdressed because um, I probably overdress anyway on a regular day. <laughs> um, uh, you can cast a spell on one person who and why okay probably be my boyfriend um, Dominic but he like doesn't remember things he's so bad like if he went to the cinema like the other day and I'd say I, I'd like say to him what was the film I'm missing the other day and he'd be like um, um he's so bad like at remembering things like little things or like yeah so I'd love to cast a spell on him so that he like remembers everything and I suppose that would be kind of bad in a way as well. Um, stop shaking! So annoyed. Um, okay. 
what and who, if you want, is the most person, oh, the most important person or thing in your life? Um, definitely my family, my boyfriend, my friends, um, my subscribers. Um, so yes, I love you so much. Um, and you make me really happy. So thank you. Um, if you had to live on three different types of food, what would they be? Okay, of course I'd probably pick fat and fat and one. Um, bread I couldn't live without like bagels and rolls and just sliced bread. Um, then probably pasta, and then chicken maybe. Bread rolls, pasta, and chicken. Yeah, I'd be really really fat if I ate them for the rest of my life. Um Okay, my last question I think which is sad. Um who would you say your style icon is? Um I'd probably say Pixie Lot or like I like Demi Lovato style. So Pixie Lot or Demi Lovato. Um definitely. So yeah, that's my questions and answers video. Um if you have any more questions that you'd like to a ask me, um, you can leave them in the comments and I'll reply. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if this was really, really long, but um, hopefully it was a bit fun. Um, and I'll talk to you all soon. And I'm going to go out and play in the snow now. <laughs> no, no, I have to go outside though, so it's really cold and so. But yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye.